Hi everyone, so I chose the Microbe VX174 because it had an interesting name that I'm going to recommend that Elon Musk and Grimes use for their next child because it reminded me of their child. Um, but then when I researched it further, I actually found it to be super interesting and I will tell you why. So it is a virus that infects bacteria, which I did not know was a thing. So by the end of this video, I hope you love the VX174 virus just as much as I do. So because it infects the E. coli bacteria, it is actually benign in humans. So E. coli is already a heavily lab research bacteria, and scientists have found the VX174 virus to be even more endearing. So it was the first genome to ever be sequenced in 1977 using replication enzymes from E. coli, like DNA polymerase, DNA primase, DNA helicase, DNA ligase, and toposomerase, from infected E. coli. They did this because a virus takes over a host cell, the host cell being bacteria, and uses their resources to replicate the virus's own DNA. The virus's replication enzymes would have the DNA encryption on them, so it makes sense that scientists would use them. Another fun theory that I learned while researching this virus is the way that some of its gene sequences are located in other genes. So in the 1970s, researchers of this theory, Hiromitsu Yoku and Taira Oshima, think that an encoded message of overlapping genes could be a message from aliens, arguing that the viruses with a secret message are perfect for extraterrestrial communication because they can live longer and replicate, which is more effective than trying to send a radio signal to another planet. So this makes sense to me because... Bacteria is great at surviving extreme conditions and it replicates extremely fast because the vi and because the virus lives off of that bacteria, it would make sense that they'd want to encode a message in it to send to travel for a hundred years. So they also theorized that this virus could be intelligently designed by aliens, just waiting for humans to figure out how to sequence the DNA and read the message. And then finally, in 2003, they did they did sequence the DNA. So the virus was synthesized in a lab, which is a huge deal. So that means that scientists could artificially create their own DNA. While they did not find a secret message from Alien, this opens up the floodgates for more research on creating DNA for clinical applications. This virus is already used as an indicator in viral or fecal contamination of aquatic environments. So it is a coliphage, which is a fancy word for a virus that infects E. coli. So it already has all of these amazing applications, and because of its simple one-strand DNA that's in a circular shape, it makes it very easy to research, and I think it gives it a great resource and a great foundation for people to learn more about DNA. So I found this bacteria or this virus super interesting, and I hope you learned a little something. Thank you!